Hello everyone, Fanta here, you're watching Fantavision, and, uh, again, really, another one? I was excited for the Dead Space remake, and I still kind of am, you know, I, it's been a long time since Dead Space 1, and I will admit, when I first saw that trailer, I was one of those people going, the graphics aren't that different, the game looked pretty close to this originally, what, a remake, really? And then I, uh... Went back and watched some footage on YouTube of PC gameplay of Dead Space 1, and it was like, oh, oh, okay, this is a big difference. The lighting is so much better, the textures are so much better, everything looks a lot better. And they added a voice for Isaac, which I'm kind of iffy on. I don't mind the silent protagonist. I mean, being silent in this sort of situation, I guess, doesn't really make sense because people are talking to you. You kind of need to talk back. It was a little bit weird when they were just shouting things at you and you weren't really saying anything. But somehow Dead Space made it work and so many games have. So, uh, yeah, it wasn't a huge necessary addition, but it definitely will add a lot more to the game. Now, to the reason I'm making this video, it's $70. That's right, Dead Space Remake is going to be $70. A remake is going to be $70. No, this is an old game that is having almost a one-for-one -one remake. I've heard they're adding some extra stuff as well. But it's basically a one-for-one -one remake. It's not as drastic of a change as it was from like Resident Evil 2 to Resident Evil 2 Remake. Look at Resident Evil 2. Look at Resident Evil 2 Remake. Huge difference. Just ma- The gameplay is completely different. The camera perspective is different. The, the entire way that that game functions is completely different. That's a remake. This is just an enhanced remaster until we see something that shows that they drastically changed the game, which I don't want them to do. I'm not saying they should do that. I'm just saying when you're slapping that sort of price tag on there, it needs to reflect the amount of work and effort and content you will be getting for that price tag. Now, if it was $70, and it came with a bunch of new stuff. The game was like longer. They added all this crazy stuff that just, just blew our minds. And it had no extra content that was cut out. Just nothing else. Just this was the complete package. You don't have to worry about any microtransactions or missing out on anything. Anything. Then the $70 price tag would be more justified. But as I'm seeing it now, the general consensus is that people saw... This game got incredibly excited, they were hyped up, and then the price was announced, and like, well, guess I'm not getting it day one, and I'm one of those people. I'm just gonna wait for it to hit EA Play in a year or so, and then I'll just play it for free on my Xbox. Now, the game isn't just $70. That'd be too easy. These, these games have to be complicated. This is a game that people are excited for. You can't just make it a simple purchase. You can't just buy the full game for $70. No, 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 no. If you don't want to miss out on content, you have to spend $80 on the digital-only deluxe edition that includes the game itself, five exclusive cosmetics, and three of those will be unique suits, and two of those will be suit textures. So that's right, if you guys actually want the full game, sorry, it's actually $80. What? $80 for a remake. Okay, I get nostalgia's huge, I get that it's been a, a drought of games like this in the genre, but Jesus Christ, they are taking advantage of us by pricing it this way. That's exactly what they're doing. I don't understand why anybody would defend this. I genuinely don't. I love Dead Space. It's one of my favorite... You know what? It's my favorite horror series of all time. I like it more than Resident Evil. That being said, I'm not going to just let them fleece me because of my love for this series. I'm not going to do it, and I'm going to encourage you guys to do the same. You can do whatever you want with your money, though. i got to clarify that before people really get so mad at me because I'm their parent and I'm telling them they can't spend that money. Oh, no. You can do whatever you want. I don't care. It's fine. You want to spend the money? Sure. Just go for it. But defending these business practices isn't going to do anything good for you or anybody else. You're just going to tell them, hey, yeah, you can charge us whatever you want because we love this property. Go for it. Take advantage of us. That's great. 
that's not that's not me guys that's never been this channel that's been the opposite that's the antithesis of the entire reason this channel even exists today i've talked about how massive stores and companies should not take advantage of their employees and their customers and now i'm talking about massive video game companies that should not be taking advantage of their customers it's the same thing i've been talking about forever because it's going to continue to happen unless we push back on shit like this. And the fact that they have the gall to raise the price to $80 for a deluxe edition when they're already arbitrarily raising the price to $70? No, 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 no. It's arbitrary. You can't even say, oh, but Phantom, I'm a defender here, and I'm gonna say, well, it costs a lot of money to make these games. Okay, shut up, first of all, because EA is who's making this. This isn't a little company. This isn't somebody who needs the money. This is EA who is constantly making money off of gambling addicts through FIFA, Madden, and plenty of other games that they have those insane microtransactions on. They're making billions. They're doing fine. They're making billions with a B. You don't need to worry about them. If this was a an indie company and they priced it at this for a specific reason because they're like, oh, this, you know, guys, I just, it needs to be 70 for this reason. Maybe I could get it, but this is a massive corporation that makes tons of money. They don't need it. And I also call it arbitrary because on Steam, this is $60. Why is there a price discrepancy between Steam and the consoles? Why is the PC version cheaper? I would love for somebody to explain to me why this is cheaper on PC for no reason. I mean, there's... Is there one? If you could tell me the reason, I'll shut up. I'll stop making these type of videos, but... There seems to be zero reason for them to be pricing it this way, considering it's digital on PC and they're charging 60 bucks, and then there's a digital version on the console and they're charging 70. I have always wondered this. Why is there not a price discrepancy between physical games and digital games? Shouldn't you be getting a discount over here? They're not packaging anything. They don't have to come up with all the stuff on the back. They don't have to pay a marketing team to come up with the back of the box, you don't have to pay people to package these games, you don't have to print the discs, you don't have to do all those different things, and yet there's no price difference and there never has been, and nobody's ever said anything about that. That's always been very strange to me. I mean, people will happily pay, the, okay, uh, I don't wanna say it like that. Let me rephrase this, because I don't wanna give them ideas, but when there is an indie game that people love, that they want to own physically, there's all these different stores that have popped up. Limited Run, Special Reserve, like all these different places have popped up because there's a demand for physical products outside of digital only. And I'm one of those people. I love having a physical copy of a game that I really like because I want to support the people that made it and I want to have a physical representation of it in my hands that I can hold that is mine forever. They can't take it away from me. It's on a physical disc or cartridge. I own that. And that costs more. And that makes sense. I understand why it costs more. There's packaging. There's shipping. There's, you know, artwork involved. There's so much involved with packing and shipping a physical product that is not anywhere present in digital games. Digital games should be at least 20% cheaper than physical games every single release that's just how it should be because you're saving that much money or more on not putting out a physical release so again it would make sense if that's where the price discrepancy came from but we're not seeing that we're just seeing the pc version is just ten dollars cheaper so i don't know why i don't know it doesn't make any sense to me at all it's incredibly frustrating I don't get why this is a, in a $60 game. Honestly, again, it's a remake. It should be like 50 bucks tops, you know? I feel like 40 would be a great value. I'd be encouraging people to buy this day one. And even then, I'd still say, really, a deluxe edition? Like, even if you're charging 50 bucks for a deluxe edition, like, I wouldn't be as annoyed. Like, let's say it's 50 or 60 bucks for the deluxe edition. It'd still be annoying because, again, it's five cosmetic items. Like, really? Can't you just put that in the game? Can't you just have a full release? Do you really have to chop it up, guys? I know you're EA. I know you're a terrible company, but that doesn't mean you have to continually just 
add to that image that you have created. You can do one thing correct and make people happy, but nope, they fucked that up too. I've already gotten some of your opinions in my poll over on my channel. Of course, please do vote in those things. It's great, I'm gonna start using them in videos. This is what you guys said so far, but let me know in the comments down below how you feel about the price tag. If you think you're gonna be picking this game up day one, and let me know why, if you know why, the PC version is cheaper because it just doesn't make sense to me. Of course, like the video if you guys liked it, subscribe for more content, and as always, have a fantastic day. See you, everybody.